Today I'm making phở hải sản or phở noodle soup with seafood. I know you've been so familiar with phở with beef or phở bò and phở with chicken or phở gà. But today, let's try out something new. As now I live by the sea, I have access to the variety of very fresh seafood, so I gave it a try and was really happy with how it comes out. So let's begin. Helen's recipes. For 10 servings, you need about 6 pounds or 2.7 kg of beef bones. Soak in salted water overnight to release some blood, then change the water and bring to a boil over high heat. Boil for about 5 to 10 minutes until all the impurities rise to the top. Then dump out the whole pot, wash the bones and the pot clean and return it into a pot and then fill it with about 5 liters of water, that's about 20 cups. Add half a peeled onion, 1 tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of rock sugar. Bring to a boil again, then turn the heat to medium low and cook the broth for about 3 to 8 hours, the longer the better. Occasionally skim up the foam and do not cover the pot because you want to keep the broth really clear. Next, grill the shrimps in a pan without any oil over high heat until they turn completely orange. You can also use a grilling pan, make sure that it's cooked through. Then let cool, peel and devein. Keep the shrimp shells for later use. Cut the cuttlefish in half along the spine, remove the skin if any. And with the tip of a very sharp knife, score parallel diagonal lines from end to end that is about half the way deep into the flesh. Be careful not to cut it all the way through, and then you can repeat with the opposite direction to create a crisscross pattern. Then cut into about 2 by 2 inch pieces. To make the fur aroma, grill 4 slices of ginger, 3 shallots, and about 2 black cardamoms, and 1 cinnamon stick directly over the open flame until it's slightly charred on all sides. You can also broil in an oven at 430 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for about 10 minutes or until charred, and then peel and scrape off all the charred parts. Insert all the items into a spy filter bowl together with the shrimp shells. And then drop the ball into the stock pot about one hour before serving so the aroma stay fresh and tempting. Extract the broth into a separate saucepan. If you're not serving all at one go, only extract enough broth for the intended number of servings. And bring to a boil, then add the clams and cook until they open. Remove with a slotted spoon and transfer to a plate. Also add the cuttlefish and cook for about 2 minutes or until it curls up and turns opaque. Repeat with the fish ball. To assemble the fur ball, blanch a handful of noodles in a long handle strainer for about 10 seconds. Drain and transfer the noodles to a serving bowl. Garnish with some thinly sliced onion. Then arrange the clams, the cuttlefish, the shrimps and the fish ball on top. One scallion stem and the chopped scallion. Ladle the hot broth over. Oh my, I really wish you can smell this. You can serve with a flatter or fresh herbs like Asian basil and salted herb, some blanched bean sprouts, a wash of lime, and a small condiment bowl of poison sauce and sriracha for dipping. Wow, look at that! Isn't it amazing? I can't wait to dig in. Mm, the broth is really fragrant and the natural sweetness from the beef bones and also the seafood give it really really amazing flavor. If you love seafood and you love pho, this is the perfect marriage. Give it a try and let me know how it turns out. Send me a photo on Instagram with hashtag Helen Recipes if you give it a try. This recipe together with so many other pho and noodle recipes can be found 
in my cookbook Simply Pho, which is available now on Amazon and all other bookstores on and offline. You can click on the link to grab one now if you haven't already. Otherwise, just click subscribe and turn on the bell button so you won't miss my next video when it comes out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.